Giraffes are Africa's gentle giants, but they're in danger of extinction. Today, fewer than 100,000 giraffes remain in the wild. Tanzania has the most giraffes of any country in the world, but their numbers are declining. For the last 10 years, Wild Nature Institute scientists, educators, and conservation partners have been working to save giraffes in Tanzania from extinction. Maasai giraffes in Tanzania are endangered because people are cutting down the trees that giraffes eat. They are building farms and towns in the natural savannas that giraffes need to survive. And some poachers are killing giraffes for bush meat markets. Through our research, we are discovering where giraffes are doing well, where they are not, and why. The information Wild Nature Institute has collected over the last 10 years is helping us to understand what giraffes need for them to grow fast, be healthy, and avoid predators. Every giraffe has a unique spot pattern, much like a human thumbprint, and we can use those patterns to recognize individual giraffes. For 10 years, Wild Nature Institute scientists have been driving around the savannas of the Terengure region in northern Tanzania, looking for giraffes. Every time we see one, we take a photograph of its spot pattern. This way we know the identity of that giraffe. We also map where the giraffe is located at that time and record the other giraffes it was with. We can then tell if a giraffe survived from one survey to the next, what new calves were born, and learn their social relationships. We monitor more than 3,000 giraffes every few months using this non-invasive photographic method. So the giraffes go on living their lives completely undisturbed by our research. In our 10 years of giraffe research, we've learned many interesting things. We learned that vast protected areas and effective law enforcement are important to giraffe survival because where these things are missing, giraffes are killed for bushmeat markets. We also found that giraffes will move through areas where cattle herders are living to get to different protected areas. Sometimes mother giraffes with calves like to be closer to the homes of these cattle herders because the herders keep away predators like lions and leopards. We also found that community conservation actions are effectively stopping the illegal killing of giraffes and these community lands are providing good giraffe habitat. One of our favorite things we learned was that when there are lots of migratory wildebeest and zebras in an area, the lions and leopards ate them instead of the giraffe calves. This means that conservation of giraffes requires not only stopping people from illegally killing giraffes, but also protecting all parts of the food web, including those migratory wildebeests and zebras. We've also learned some interesting things about giraffe social relationships. Like people, giraffes have close friends, acquaintances, and strangers. These relationships create friends' networks, which we call communities. Two giraffes might live in the same area, but never hang out together because they belong to different social communities. Female giraffes mostly stay in the community they were born into, but male giraffes usually leave their birth community and join a new one when they're about four years old. We also discovered that adult female giraffes that socialize with more other females survive better than socially isolated giraffes. Just like with people, social relationships are extremely important to giraffes' health and well-being. Giraffe spots are unique among mammals, and of course they're beautiful to look at, but they're also important to survival. Baby giraffes with certain types of spot patterns survived better than others. Certain features of the spots, like how round and how smooth the edges are, were similar between mothers and their babies, meaning these features might be heritable. So it was not a surprise when we discovered that adult females like to spend more time with other females that had the same types of spots. Wild Nature Institute's scientists might have learned a lot in our first decade of studying giraffes, but we will always have new questions to ask and answer. We hope to continue with one of the biggest studies of a large animal in history, thanks to the support of our valued partners in conservation and education. Our goal is for giraffes and people to coexist and thrive together in the African savannah.